Welcome everybody to Mr. 3D. So today we have very interesting render engine for Blender known as KCycles X. Well, KCycles X is a highly optimized custom built of Cycles X render engine that is more than two times faster with ultra denoiser and real time amazing viewport post effects including bloom effects, flares with glare, anamorphic and goose, tone mapping and lens effects that elevates your art to the next level. These are the things that we need in Cycles for a very long time. Thanks to Eric Kellen for making this possible. If you would like to get KCycles X, I'm gonna put the link in the notes down below so you can do well to check this out. Before we start, make sure to subscribe if you already haven't and turn on notifications so that you won't miss any future uploads. Both of the scenes that I'm using in this video are gonna be on my discord server so you can grab them from my discord server. The link is in the description. Now let's jump straight into this video. Alright, once you follow the link in the description, you will see that we have the KCycles product right here on Blender Market and from here you can read a lot more about it what you can get out of this product and you can see this is a Cycles X on yellow and this is KCycles X on green and on blue is eCycles and actually these are on RTX 3090 and this also works with 20 series, 10 series and 9 series of the Nvidia GPUs but it does not work with AMD GPUs. Come here and read a lot more about ultra denoiser and all the stuff that you can get out of it and the price is really really amazing let's move on to this video now let's compare it with cycles x which is in development right now so if you open up the blender 3.0 alpha go over to the about and you can see that we have blender 3.0 alpha cycles x branch now let's take a look at k cycles and what we have with it we have also 3.0 alpha with branch k cycles x3 modified now let's take a look at the first one which is cycles x now all the settings with cycles x and k cycles are same samples are same gpu compute is same and also the optics as well is same all right let's take a look at it into k cycles x and we have the same preferences right here so let's start off with cycles x so as you can see in viewport it's giving very bad results so we are gonna take a look at just open image denoise and we're gonna move it to just solid view for now and then click on render image and let's see how long it will take to render this thing out at 500 samples and the price is really really amazing if you are into saving your lot of energy resources or you want to save up your time plus you're also getting your animations quickly rendered it's worth it and yeah viewport performance is also cool Probably you can save up a lot of your energy resources with this little money you are giving them. You can save a lot more than you're spending on K cycles, which is really cool. I highly recommend you this product. This is gonna make you work really, really faster as a 3D artist or a content creator or whatever. I'm gonna pause the video. We will be right back after it's done. So as you can see, it rendered this out in 6 minutes 45 seconds. Now let's take a look at K cycles, what it can do for us. So open up K cycles. As you can see, we have all the settings same and also get the bloom. You can also get bloom in viewport as well. And we have ultra denoiser, which is awesome. And then we have transmission volumetrics and we're gonna pump this to all the way top we have 500 samples and all the default stuff right here now we are gonna go with default highest quality is default and the maximum boost we are gonna use right here so once everything is done and as you can see we have viewport bloom so if you turn that off you can see the difference between it you're getting real-time viewport bloom. We can also get flares, tune mapping, lens, and a lot more, which you can get inside these flares, anamorphic, goose, all that stuff. K-Cycles is really, really cool. Now let's take a look at how long it takes to render this out. So it rendered this image out in 5 minutes 15 seconds which is 1 minute and 30 seconds faster than Cycles X. You can calculate if you have hundreds of frames to render with Cycles X. 
if you render them with k-cycles x you're gonna save a lot of your energy resources which is cool and this range is different with heavy scenes and this is also different with normal scenes so this was our basic test with normal scene and as you can see that we have bloom right here which is impossible to get in cycles x because this bloom is only available in ev and as you can see if i just open up the render you can see the difference between these two renders which is amazing k cycles x render is pretty clean and the cycles x is not good the lightings are not good and the shading is also not good so bye bye cycles x welcome k cycles and now we are gonna take a look at a heavy scene so let me just open that up and we will be right back and this scene that I have right here is very heavy so it's gonna take a little time to load up for the first time and as you can see that we have 128 samples let's change it to 200 and also change it with in k cycles x now let's just simply you can see that we have the same settings on both of these engines and we can also have faster viewport updates and navigation which is awesome this viewport response in k cycles x is very cool so as you can see this scene is very very heavy so i'm gonna first render this out in cycles x and then render image at 200 samples i will be back once the rendering is done so rendering is done now and cycles x done this rendering in 4 minutes 13 seconds let's take a look at k cycles x what it can do for us so i'm just gonna go back right here open up k cycles and just simply click on render image and with the ultra denoiser checked this is not gonna add extra render times so this is fast and really really good denoiser i will be back once the rendering is done the render is done and as you can see this scene was very heavy and it took right just six seconds less than cycles x so it depends on the scene that you have and it also depends on the gpu that you have so i have gtx but if you have rtx then the difference will be way too much so you will get the most results out of it and you can save a lot of your energy resources this add-on also works with EV production suite which is a really cool add-on. It can save you a lot of time to make lightings and it also gives you 165 procedure materials. In case you are looking for this add-on this is gonna save you a whole lot of time and this is way way optimized with K Cycles X to save you a lot of rendering and energy resources as well. I also have a video on EV production suite detailed review so you can do well to check that out. All links are in the description. So if you're interested in this add-on, I'm gonna put the link in the description so you can grab it for yourself. And the K-Cycles is also optimized with Pure Sky as you can see right here. K-Cycles compatible. And if you are also interested in getting this, I'm gonna put the link in the description of this so you can grab it for yourself. And this add-on is here to save you a lot of time and this is gonna make your renders way way cooler, faster, realistic and a lot more. Check the links in the description of this video so you can get these things for yourself. And that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about k cycles X. If you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share it with your friends. And if you're new here, it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any future uploads. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye bye.